Hi Gemini, welcome to your general reading for the first half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. And if you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for stopping by again. If you are new, please do check the description box below. There is a ton of information there for you. Links, personal readings, decks I'm using, lots of stuff there. So please do go check that out, be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, um, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. To those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me in an energy exchange, such as a tip or donation to the channel, is greatly much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. So I appreciate all the support and the encouragement. And I just want to say thank you, thank you so much. I truly love to do this for you guys. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Gemini first half of August. I hope everybody's doing well. Can you believe we're in August already? I just can't believe that in the middle of summer. Wow. Okay. Time is just flying. All right. Gemini. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we may get a planet sign or element energy. And we'll see how that plays into your reading. If you don't resonate with whatever is pulled here, that's totally fine. The rest of the reading may be for you. So I would say keep watching. And I guess you would have known that by the title if you clicked on this. So we'll see. Okay. All the decks have been pre-shuffled, cut, meditated on off camera. I do shuffle a little more on camera. So please be patient with the shuffling. Okay. For Gemini. First half of August. What's going on with Gemini? Can we have one card spirit, please, for Gemini? What kind of energy may they be dealing with for some Geminis? The first half of August. There we go. Jupiter. Jupiter energy. That is Sagittarius energy. So if you're not dealing with a Sagittarius, maybe you have it in your chart somehow. Uh, it could be a rising sign or... Um, your moon sign or your Jupiter sign because um, generals usually go for sun, moon, rising or Jupiter. And Jupiter is all about um, luck, turn of fates, you know, growth and expansion, uh, like faith and destiny, having hope and optimism, uh, prosperity, joy, happiness, spirituality. So I don't know. We'll see how that plays into your reading. And I'm just noticing here that Jupiter is number 18, which reduced as nine. You know, nine in tarot has um, a lot of different meanings. Um, it can be wishes coming true, uh, you know, fulfillment of dreams. It can be stress and anxiety. It can be being very stable and independent. And it can also be, um, you know, the wounded warrior also, you know, been through a struggle, but you keep fighting on. All right, so I don't know. That may be uh, energy for some. All right, so let's see. Wow, I got like five that just fell out. I just want one card. We'll get your main energy. What's going on with Gemini? The first half of August, Spirit, please. Can we have one card for Gemini? What's going on? with Gemini, the first half of August. I swap one for Gemini, first half of, oh, it's not giving me the sticking together. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have Kalima, I think is how you say this, facing fear. Major spirit, major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So if it's not that, this does say facing fear. So maybe there's something here where where you really had to face something you were fearing um, in some sort of way. You maybe you were fearing because um, nine, and then you get ten, which is an ending. One is a new beginning. Maybe you were fearing an end of something. You had stress and anxiety over it. It was a long, hard battle. Um, I, I don't know. We'll see. Facing fear or there's a need for you to face something that maybe you don't want to face. It could be something to do. Maybe you're going through a spiritual shift also or enlightenment. 
but I don't know, we'll see. So now we have Mercury, open communication, and this is Gemini. Mercury is the planet of Gemini. Wow, open communication. Get a, get weight, get a weight off your chest, speak up with love and be heard. So, <clears throat> and my throat's getting a little like scratchy and closed up. So there may be something here that you may to may need to speak up about, but you're fearing it. You're fearing having to have this communication or having to confront something or to speak up about something, uh, or it could be speaking in public or in front of a group of people or something where you have to communicate in your, or maybe you have a fear of speaking in public or something like that. I'm just curious. So, <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see. What? Let's see what's going on with Gemini. So, I think with the Jupiter energy, it's telling you to stay um, optimistic during this time. Um, you know, I think you will have joy and prosperity coming your way. But there's something about communicating that you're fearing. So I don't know what that's about. So we'll see what's going on with you, Gemini. The first half of August. What's going on with Gemini? Why, I, why are they... Facing fears and communication. Why is that here? The Gemini, the first half of August. Spirit, please. Oh. All right. Uh, fell on the floor. So we have the star. Wow, so this is Aquarius energy, but it doesn't have to be. So this is about hope. And, um,. You know, like the Jupiter energy of being optimistic, faith, hope, dreams and wishes coming true, something divinely guided for you. I think there's something divinely guided for you here coming in for you. Has to do something about speaking or communicating and you have that fear of having to do that. But whatever this is, this is telling you this is divinely guided for you. It's your wish. It's your dream. It's a dream fulfilled for you. Um... It's very peaceful healing energy also with the star card. So that's a nice energy to be in for you, um, Gemini. So let's see what other energy is around you. So we have the six of cups. Wow, and we have the five of cups. Interesting. So we have the five and the six of cups. So, I mean, the six of cups here, this is all water energy. Um, six of cups here. I mean, this is about the past, reflecting on things of the past from childhood and that sort of thing. And then the five of cups is kind of like feeling sad and lost, and there's a loss and kind of sadness, um, kind of feeling. So, hmm. You know, whatever this wish coming true for you, I feel like it could be something you've wanted since childhood that you dreamed of, you know, like those childhood dreams. You know, when I want to, when I grow up, I want to do this or that. Oh, and maybe, you know, what the message I'm getting is that maybe, you know, you couldn't do that. Maybe, you know, going into the world as an adult, you know, you couldn't do what you really wanted to do. You had some sadness over that you know, reflect, reflecting on, well, since I was a child, this is what I've always wanted to do. But now you're in that energy of your wishes are coming true. But for some reason, you have fear of it. And it has to do with speaking. I feel like speaking in front of people or speaking in front of a group of people or something like that. It's like you have it, it's finally here. But you know you have to be like in front of these people and speak and communicate. And now you have a fear of that. So I hope that makes sense for some. So let's see what your actual situation is here. So we have the Ten of Wands, Responsibility, Fire Energy here. The Page of Swords, that's your energy, ear energy. Um, but this says Gossip. And then we have the Six of Wands, which is Success, Fire Energy again. 
So, yeah, responsibility of the Ten of Wands here. I think, you know, you're getting your wish and your dream, but you're like, oh my gosh, now I have all this responsibility. Now you're feeling a little bit, you know, a little bit like burdened by all this new responsibility. Um, now it's something you're very fiery, passionate about, but yet you're a little scared, have a little bit of fear. Um, you're like, oh, I don't know if I can handle this. This is a lot of responsibility. I have all these burdens now all of a sudden. But now you have uh, the Page of Swords. And I know this says Gossip, but um, pages are about messages, communication. So again, with the communication here, and you see this person's like standing up and like holding the sword. So I feel like this is you having to stand up in front of people and either speak or communicate or do something here and being a little like overburdened by that energy like it feels like it's a little too much for you to have that responsibility but I feel here with the six of wands fire energy again this is going to be this is your success and victory and your accolades and positive movement movement forward in whatever you're doing being very very successful so I think I think you're just gonna have to try to just face this fear and overcome this fear of this responsibility and like feeling overburdened and not sure if you can do it and maybe people are gossiping behind your back like oh I don't know if she can do this and blah 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 or she he whoever is watching this I don't know if they can take on this responsibility I don't know if they're the right person to do this and you may be hearing people like chattering all these things like behind your back and people are telling you like friends what people are saying and it's really like getting you more in this space of fear and it's making you feel sad maybe also that people are thinking that you you can't do it but it says here that you can do it you will have success and victory in this th that you can do it just the swords here you just stand up for yourself that air energy with the sword, you stand up for yourself, you speak your truths, you, you know, you'll be cutting away with that sword, all that negative talk, and be like, look at me, I'm doing it, I'm successful, and standing your ground. So let's see what your advice is in this situation. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, wow, and the Chariot cancer and wow so your advice is to keep moving forward with the uh chariot here with the cancer energy this is balancing out your energy i see definite need to do that here balancing out your energy and uh, moving forward very ambitious with a lot of ambitious drive um just positive movement forward being very excited being successful as you have success here the chariot is all about successful movement forward being very balanced and getting what you want to achieve that's your advice because your advice is you will stay stable and grounded and stay in this mindset of you know this is a turn of luck for you to keep that in mind and to stay very stable and grounded and this is something that will be long term with the ten of pentacles you'll be very successful you'll have abundance and growth and expansion prosperity and wealth happy home and family You'll be so secure and stable. You'll never have to worry about mo monetary or material things because this is you and needing to take that positive movement forward in this situation. Wow. So this could be career uh, related. Maybe you're becoming a higher, um, having a higher ranking in your company or something like that. Or maybe like you just graduated college or something and now you're going to be a lawyer or you're something where you have to get up and you have to speak in front of people with the page of swords they're speaking truths so it could be anything like that it could be a teacher a lawyer where you're in front of the in front of people could be even a political situation here but I see luck is on your side stay grounded and take keep taking that positive movement forward Wow, so let's see. Let me move the camera down. Gemini, it looks good. I just see you having to get over fear of speaking in public. And what is your possible outcome? Partnership, two of cups. Nice. So 
Um, this can be any kind of partnership. So maybe you're um, going into partnership of some kind with another person. Maybe it's um, a partnership in business or um, something like that. Or being in a partnership like, um, I'm trying to think of the right words to say this, like, like a corporation or a firm or having a firm of some kind or something like that. But this is um, coming into partnership. It also could be you aligning with yourself and balancing yourself out in your energies moving forward. So let's get more clarity for you, Gemini. So we have the Knight of Wands activity. So fire energy here. So again, taking that action. Knights are about action. So taking that passionate drive ambitious energy and just moving and doing the work and moving forward. The Six of Pentacles. So I, I had said here, is the Six is all about balance. The Six of Pentacles, generosity. So this is all about balance. Balancing out your energies, being very balanced, moving forward, having a very balanced future finances will be balanced. You'll never have to worry, you know, balancing yourself out, facing these fears and overcoming them and being able to have open communication. King of Wands. So not only do you go to the Knight of Wands, you go to the King of Wands, practicality. So this is you standing in your um, passion and your, um, I mean, this is somebody that can own their own business or like I said, own their own firm or be, you know, the top boss or whatever like that. This is someone who stands in there. They're very strong, courageous, and brave. They're very um, determined energy. So now you took take the action and now you're the king of your endeavor, whatever you're doing here. So the hermit, Virgo energy contemplation. So... I had said from the beginning here that maybe this is something with the Six of Cups energy you've wanted to do since childhood um, that you always dreamed of doing. And here's like that hermit energy of just kind of being, you know, in a contemplative state, just thinking, contemplating in that sort of energy, thinking things through, thinking things out, contemplating also maybe do I really want to move forward with this and do whatever it is I have to do here because I know I have to face my fear about communicating in some way. And maybe that caused you to withdraw for, for a while or maybe you are just a very uh, like introverted, withdrawn, shy kind of person. And even though this is your wish, your dream, and your passion, you still have some reserves here because of your hermit-like nature maybe. All right, so... So there we have the Ace of Cups here, love. So I feel like this is going to be a brand new beginning. This is a divinely guided brand new beginning for you um, in love in any kind of way, spiritually guided, um, absolutely loving what you're doing and being in that very happy, joyous place moving forward in this brand new beginning. Water energy there. A lot of water here. Water, earth mostly. So... Um, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the full. So there you are diving right in. You know, balancing out your energy, resetting at zero. Um, Aquarius energy again. So this is just taking that leap of faith, diving right in, jumping right in into your new beginning here. Your new adventure, your new endeavor, whatever it is for you. And then you have the Knight of Cups proposal. So again, I definitely feel like here with the two of cups that this could be a proposal of, Hey, do you want to join my, I'm starting a law firm or I'm starting some kind of firm or business or something. Do you want to be my partner kind of energy? This is what I'm getting here with this proposal, like a business proposal of some kind, somebody coming in and offering that to you. So here's a magician. So this is Gemini and Libra. So this is manifesting your future. This is doing everything you need to do. Cups, going after what you are really love to do. Passion, going with the wands, going after it with a lot of passion and drive. Swords, standing in your truth. 
and the pentacles here are in stability moving forward and manifesting this the world right so ending out a chapter starting a whole new chapter a whole new beginning a whole new world for you wow because right after the world comes the fool and the fool already came out so it's like you're going through this portal like i'm going on my new journey and this is a whole new world for me the king of cups so you've got the king of wands the king of cups so wow so uh yeah just being in that positive mindset self-love self-worth um coming from a loving compassionate place you could be also helping people in whatever you do being a very compassionate person to one's vision exactly and with the twos here i definitely feel like somebody or someone may offer you a partnership in some way shape or form into some sort of adventure business endeavor or firm or something like that because this is a vision and this is like maybe even two people coming together with a vision to create something like that and making plans and decisions here about that wow so yep whole new world the fool wow whole new beginning for you gemini but just in need here the main message is to face this fear about having to um i feel like it's like speak in front of people in public in front of you know a class or in public or some way shape or form you know if this resonates for you this may not be for everybody it could be in any situation too i mean maybe you're having to um maybe you're changing your life and you just went through something and you're having to go to court and having to speak in front of people to represent yourself and you're nervous about that you know it could be anything here but uh whatever it is here i see it going well i see you you know things will go your way things will be balanced there will be success you know you'll get your stability you get if it's something owed to you you'll get it because you got the ten of pentacles here all right so let's get um wow okay that was fast okay so we have happy surprise something very good is about to happen and i definitely felt like if you're having to go to court or something like that and you're worried about how things will go i think they will go in your favor and maybe you're totally not expecting it and this is the happy surprise or a surprise could be proposal coming in to start some sort of business adventure a firm or, or whatever like that practice wow <laughs> i had just said a firm a practice uh, and here's practice so for some people again this may not be for everybody some sort of like firm or practice or something like that the best way to be good at a skill is to practice 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 until you get it right so <clears throat> again you could have just completed college or something like that or apprentice you know apprenticeship if i can say it but i'm getting here this just this word practice like you know a uh, law practice or something of that nature whatever it is for you i just can't believe that came out that's just amazing okay so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you gemini uh, can you see all the cards here okay so we have wish upon a star wow and your first card out was the star and you saw me shuffle i just cannot make this shit up wish upon a star make a wish and expect the very best exactly so again keeping that faith hope and optimism and everything everything will be going in your favor success victory whole new beginning whole new world whole new leap of faith wow and in the process facing fear and getting over your fear of some sort of communication or public speaking or something like that wow gemini wow so gemini if this resonated for you please do like share subscribe and comment um 
I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so please don't miss out on that. And best of luck, best of luck to you here. See, I'm getting tongue-tied, so I definitely feel like somebody here, and maybe you have to practice um, speaking in front of people before you do this for a living. This could be this practice also. So best of luck to you here in this situation, and I'm wishing you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.